Uh, my name is Kim. I'm an artist from uh, Belgium and I played a leading role in The Best of Dorin B. What is this film about? Uh, the Best of Dorin B is a, a w movie about somebody who let life take over and not took too much choices or did the choices that were expected to be taken and then at a certain point uh, she is confronted with not choosing. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds interesting, but yeah, vague. <laughs> vague yes. yes. So it's uh, about Durin, and she's a mother of uh, 38, mm -hmm. and she has two kids and a wonderful husband. And she took over the practice of her father, which was a uh, vet practice. And uh, her husband is a professor at the university. So from the outside, everything looks fine. But uh, the movie starts at the point where her husband has been cheating on her. And not only does she discover this, she also discovers that her mom and dad's relationship was also not how she thought it would be. So everything in life, what she invested in, turns out to be not exactly what she expected. And so she's confronted with um, also with uh, her own health. And so everything forms a pile where she uh, yeah, basically goes through midlife crisis, I think. Why is it important to tell a story about a woman in a midlife crisis? I mean, we've all seen Bridget Jones, right? Yes, we've seen Bridget Jones. I think it's important that a midlife crisis, or um, I think there's still a lot of taboo on, uh, in your 30s, and I'm my, in my 30s myself. And uh, as, as much as you think that there's talked about, it's not. There's a lot of expectations of being a 30-year-old, 35-year-old. And if you don't met, meet them, I mean, they're not in your 20s anymore. You cannot say, oh, I'll do that when I'm 30. You have to have a great career. You have to be an awesome mom. You have to have a big house by then. Your love relation has to be super cool. And, and it's a lot of pressure. And so I think it is very relevant, yeah. Yep. How has shooting process been? How did you prepare for the role, for example? Uh, I... <laughs> I, uh, I have to do some surgery, so I cut open a lot of dead chicken <laughs> but in, in order to prepare. I, uh, I followed classes of Taekwondo. Um, I, uh, what else did I do? I, I really went to a vet. I took piano classes. Uh, so yeah, the preparation was a lot, actually. <laughs> what was surprisingly easy about this role you played? Uh, it was very easy to understand the woman. And uh, my director wanted to go over and over the script again, and I said, I, I, I'm, it's okay for me, I'm paid, but I really don't understand why, because I get her. I, I don't need to go over every sentence, I know what you mean. Yeah. How did you get to this whole project? Did, was, you, was there any casting? Uh, yeah, there was a casting, but um, she actually, the director was a casting director before. Uh, she made shorts and to earn money she did castings and so she knew a lot of people but she didn't find really what she was looking for and uh, we met because our kids go to the same school and then uh, yeah we talked and she asked me to go do casting what is your favorite scene in the movie uh, my favorite scene is I think the scene where I get really angry with two men who uh, bring uh, who are doing garbage like really heavy men and I'm a bit uh, taking a leap there. <laughs> yeah. So we're interested in that. The film, The Best of Doreen B, is nominated for the Audience Award. You've had some Q&As already. How were reactions here in Braunschweig? Uh, it was really nice. I really love Q&As anyway. And I like, uh, I, I like it a lot here. I like the city, I like the people, I like the mentality. And yeah, it's really fun. And I could do three Q&As and I'm really happy about that. Yeah. So, how do you perceive the whole festival itself? I mean, I, I've, I suppose you've been with the film to many festivals before, but how's your first impression of Braunschweig? Yeah, I really like it here, because um, I thought it would be kind of like a dead city, but it's not. <laughs> uh, and um, it's as big as my city, it's the same amount of people living here. And um, the festival is really uh, outstanding with the selection of movies that has been uh, taken care of. It's, it's really um, something you don't see everywhere. Um, so uh, I'm really happy that I can also go watch some movies. Uh, for me it was very special because Ali, who is uh, the director of uh, Teheran City of Love, 
was here and I didn't see him for a long time, so I had some nice time with him. I have another friend who lives in Frankfurt, who is currently staying with me now in the hotel because we didn't meet. And the festival, the whole atmosphere is really awesome. It's, I really love it. The audience is critical and they talk and it's, yeah, it's really, really nice. Yeah. So, last question so far. Have you any th further projects coming up? Are we able to see you again in some movies here in Germany? No, not at all. <laughs> What a pity, actually. <laughs> No, uh, I had uh, really great comments on every time. I didn't have any bad review, uh, but uh, so far I haven't been asked, so I'm completely free. <laughs> no, I have exhibitions, of course, but not in uh, in movies. I'm I'm uh, I'm not to see yet. Yet, which means we're still excited to see you soon. So. As, as soon as possible, I mean. So, have a really nice day here at our festival. I hope you enjoy your Q&As. You said you're still into some Q&As today. Have a great time. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. It was really nice talking to you. <laughs> Thank you so much.